Hello everyone and welcome to our channel Project Management and Control. This video is about to demonstrate the method and procedure used to copy activity code from Primera P6 to Microsoft Excel. So as a Primera user, we know that activities are organized based on work breakdown structure in Primera P6. I already made some videos for work breakdown structure and activity code. Kindly visit the channel Project Management and Control. You will find useful stuff there. Now back to our topic as well as, this, as we were discussing that the activities are organized based on work breakdown structure. However, for some special circumstances or presentation requirement, activity codes are best suited. Activity codes will be used, have more features as compared to the filters because if you use the filter, it is uh, you have to define filters again and again. Sometimes you have to make one filter and to support it, you have to make another filter. So to avoid such uh, conditions, you can make activity code and organize the data as you are looking for. That's why it is uh, activity codes are uh, more, have more feature as compared to the filters and they are more easier, easily handled. So activity codes, in addition to this activity codes normally submitted along with the baseline program. When the baseline program is submitted, the contractor normally submitted the schedule related report which contains some contextual information for the project start, finish and client consultant name, uh, name and the scope of the work. And it defined the uh, brief methodology or the base on which the project is developed. All assumptions, the assumptions we are considered while making this program are communicated through schedule narrative report. In this report, we can provide the activity codes also. To copy, to provide the activity codes from Primera P6 to Excel, the one way is that we copy all the codes one by one from Primera into Excel, or we can use the report function to, uh, to, pay, to copy all the activity codes one time from Primera P6 to Microsoft Excel. So let's start in Primera P6 directly. Are you project now? Once the project is open, you can see that we have defined activity and if you go in group and sort, you can find that is based on the WBS. So if you go here in enterprise activity code, you can see that there is a different activity code. To see all the code of the project, go to modify and it will give you how many codes are there. So we have number one is the project name, number two is the responsibility, discipline, close, state and items. So if you close this one and go to, first we go to project, it will give you the project name, start tower. Similarly, if you go to responsibility, it will give you responsibility for the mobilization, preliminary, uh, engineering, procurement, construction, testing, and commissioning, handing over. Responsibility is sometimes they have some people they put responsibility in activities. For example, uh, they put the responsibility, uh, some activities linked to client, uh, decisions which are required from the client, like for PS items, some uh, approval, uh, approvals they put with the responsibility of the engineer and construction activities they put with the, with the uh, contractor authorities they put with the authorities so in, in the case of delay they can organize the uh, the delays activities and then they can put justification about this one so this will depend uh, on your project and uh, uh, the way you are for uh, monitoring it so here this is not a topic so i just ignore it and we go to discipline in discipline you have overall project enabling works civil structure finishes mp etc similarly you go floor it define all the floors it is from basement 3 to uh, level 36 37 and roof floor and then we have rates like for example here milestones under this all the milestones will come engineering procurement all activities under engineering procurement come under this one meta statement similar ps item all this Service structure work, service structure like this, and then we have more items which is more detailed. You define all activities uh, during the project and you define all the activities like paint work, false ceiling work, post tension slab, timber door, uh, whatever items are there in your BOQ or your project, you can put it there for easy monitoring and reference. So now we want to copy this activity code to Primera. One way, as we discussed, that we copied, uh, open the uh, activity code and copy one by one. Like for example, we open number one user of five project, copy this one and open the Excel file. And then paste it here, control V. Okay, then we go to next topic is the number two is the, for example, responsibility. Press control A to select all, control C to copy and paste it here. In the same way, you can copy all the activity codes in the Primera for Primera to pieces, and you can see that it is cumbersome, means it takes time and tedious job to copy all the activities codes one by one 
from Primera to P6. So alternatively, if you want to copy actually code from Primera to P6, we can use the report function. So report function is that you go to report. Once you are in the report uh, window, just click plus from here, hit button, and then it will create or modify report wizard will be open. This is the report wizard. In the report wizard, just click the new report and click next. And then you have this actually time distribution data. We are not looking for time distribution data. It is required for resource uh, distribution or uh, cash flow distribution or quantity distribution. We are not looking for this one. We are looking for actually code values. So we select this one, actually code values, then click next. And then you have actually code values here. Then click next. Then you have column here. In the column, you have a code value and description. If you open the journal, there are already actually codes. So these two codes values are same. I don't understand why Primera put two times. This code value and this code value are same. So even if I included this here, it will give me same value. So I'm not understand why Primera put it, but for no problem. We just ignore it and just keep the actually code and their descriptions and then apply and okay. Then group and sort already already make based on the project and actually codes. This all this is okay for me. And then we if we go here and uh, filter. Uh, if you make new, if you not make the filter here, uh, the primary will copy uh, actually codes of all the project in your database. Why this thing? It is better to make actually uh, select actually codes you are looking for. So here I say actually code is equal to all projects are here. So I select my project is uh, like a star tower. So I just select my first uh, code which is project. I click this. And this one, and if you open this one, you notice that we have six code. If you go down here, one, two, three, four, five, six. So what we do here, see over time, I just copy this one and paste it six times. One already is there, so I paste five times. Two, three, four, five, six. Then this actually code, this is number five, it become number ten. Then it will become number fifteen. Number 20, I make five difference so that uh, if you want to add in between something, you can add it 25 or 13. Now, one more thing after this, our code code you to select all actual code is selected. The one thing is that you have to select the parameter, and the parameter you have to select any all or any. If you select all, it will not work because all not all activities have the same code. So, you have to select any of the following. So, this is the main uh, you can say this is a, this is the Tricky, tricky trick here that you have to select all the uh, actually codes for the project and select any of them uh, from this parameter. So once you do this one, just click OK and then next. In the actually code values, you just press one, two, three, four for the reference. Because if you have so many actually uh, files on the same root or in the, in the computer, sometimes you get confused which file you are looking for because most some files are look like same or all their names are resembling so it's difficult to decide in this case you can use time and date uh, date to identify that which uh, activity uh, which file you are looking for or to uh, differentiate your activities from others just put your date or any identification so, so that you can easily identify your file so when you select a file click next and then run the report when they run the report when we, we run the report there's the option that print preview directly to printer html i select delimited text file and it gives you the location from location you can select from here okay uh, from if you click the three dot it will take you the location we want to save i say for example you want to save on the desktop okay and then i go okay and you can see here the report is created now if you click on the left top corner and press any column with now you can see that we have project r5 start hour and then we have responsibility mobilization enabling uh, construction processing commissioning but here you can see that mobilization and permit preliminaries and demobilization civilian testing and commissioning and handing over are coming in two columns two cells it's one cell and the second cell so why like this we don't want like this because we should if you go down you find here that uh, this is uh, water supply drainage firefighting gas also coming in three cells similarly so mechanical plumbing and drainage in two cells so let's investigate why like this so i do not save this file okay and just go to again in the primary okay i close this uh, again and my report and go to activities and go project Activity code, enterprise activity code. If you go activity code and you see in the mobilization, comma, preliminaries and demobilization. So you notice that after mobilization, there's a comma. Similarly, after testing, there's a comma. So what is happening because of this comma, the, the data is uh, distributed into two cells. 
So for example, if I put testing, comma, commissioning, comma, and handover, so data will be distributed into three cells. After every comma, it will move to next cell. Similarly, if you go to uh, discipline, you can see display we no shoe. If you go trade, if you go trade here, you, you see that we have one uh, WDF water supply, comma, drainage, comma, fire fighting, and gas. So the data here is distributed into three cells. One is the water supply, WS, the second is drainage, and then fire fighting and gas. So this, this is what is happening. The primera, primera is uh, delimited or Excel when you copy from primera reporting from primera to Excel, the data is delimited into three cells based on the uh, this comma function. So let's see how can we uh, adjust this one. So we go again in report for function and click plus button. Create new report. Okay. And click actually code values. Okay. And then, okay, this is okay for me. A column we already see code values and description is okay for us. Group and sort we already see that it's based on the IPS and actual code. Okay, it's okay for me. Then we just go filter. Filter we have to create again. Just we have to make again from uh, actual code equals to project. Okay, and then copy and paste five times. From here we just make any, and then from here, then fifteen. 20 is all because I make all the uh, equal name with the five diff uh, difference of five so that in the future you can add something in between if you're looking for. So, on you do this one, okay, and go next in activity code values, just press one, two, three, four, then next and report. When you click the run report, the rep run report dialog box will come out here. You select delimited text file. So, here you see that here we feel the field delimiter is comma. So wherever this comma came, it will uh, move the, the remaining data on the next cell. So to do this one, just click from here and make it the text qualifier as uh, double colon. When you click this double colon and now if you go and again, you will see notice that now let the report generate it. Just click here and you will click. Now you can see that data is coming on the one cell also or already similarly if you remember remember we have one water supply drainage and water supply drainage and gas and fire fighting this is here okay so before this was data was creating into three cell one contains water supply the other drainage and the other is fire fighting and gas this is because of this comma to so avoid this situation you have to select when you are creating the report and delimited report click the double colon instead of single colon it will make all your data into one time the problem is that if you not consider this one and it will uh, shift the data into several uh, cells then you have to do it manually and it will take too much time and waste your time to avoid this uh, thing just click the uh, from the delimited uh, cell i go back uh, run, uh, run again and from a text qualifier click double colon Okay, so I hope uh, uh, you understand. And then once you have this created this one, then you have code values and description. Just make some uh, uh, some little makeup or make some uh, columns. For example, I click, click select the data. I press Control One and make border and internal border light in color. Okay. And this is our project code value. So I just click Control One again and then down and i just click with the light green color and text with the dark green color and then make it or make it blue color and make it center and make it a little big similarly you can make all this responsibility then we have floors trade and then items when you select all this one i click format cell or control one okay just make it top and down and fill it with the make it center so in this case see you can create your uh, records in, in one time from uh, uh, using the report function it will bring all your records uh, from uh, primary to PC, just make uh, some little uh, makeup of your file, write project, uh, proper project name, uh, some detail, start, finish, consultant name, client name, and uh, 
client and any other your company or concerning logo etc like this so you can use and submit this with the uh, with, along with your design program in addition to this this in this way if you create the uh, report uh, you're creating the activity code using the report in this way you can use the same file for power bi because when you are looking at the power activities code uh, activities with the activity their code uh, you can uh, uh, you can create, take the activities assignment from the primera and, and and then you make one create one file from the p6 and like this which we just created and uh, using the power bi we can link it so what will happen the, the power bi will take the value of activity codes from this this value or the file which we created now for example in the actually if you go in the primera uh, i open now and i can cancel this one okay i uh, open this one and i go into columns in the columns i uh, go into project codes and i just add it here okay if you want to open just press control plus button it will open all so you can see that all activity codes are defined here so once you do this one, uh, you will take this data, you copy this data from Primera to Excel and the other file just we created now, which is uh, our, this file and we link it. So in this case, when, wherever this MOB will come in, in the program, it will take, it's uh, Power BI give the value of mobilization, preliminaries and demobilization. So where, where is the E and P come with uh, Power BI take the value engineering and procurement. So in this case, uh, you, you can link the Power BI, you can link the activity codes with the, their the description using Power BI. So I hope this video is uh, somehow useful for you and it gives you some new ideas uh, and to, uh, to to implement in your work and which make your work easy and efficient. So if, if you like it, please consider subscription, subscription and share with your fellow planning engineers. See you next time in another video. Thank you very much for your time. See you again. Take care and bye-bye.